vlog. Oh, I haven't actually checked in today. It's 7 42. I just had dinner. I had work this morning uh, from 9 to 6. Um, my bed is gone. I am currently sitting on the floor. Oh, not my bed, sorry, my desk. My desk and my chair got picked up this morning. So I'm currently sitting on the floor and I've got these two drawers at the bottom of my bed, like as a part of the base. And I'm going to pack that, the stuff that I've got in there into, oh, I got it in my eye. Shit, that can't be good. Oh my God, that stings, bro. This is not off to a good start, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff into boxes and then I'm gonna take my bed apart because I really don't have time to do it unless I leave it for the weekend and I don't really wanna leave it for the weekend. I've also been watching Burn the House Down on Netflix. I don't, it's this Asian show. I don't know if, I wanna say they're Korean, but I'm really not sure. It's like a drama Netflix series. That was my Monday. I had a pretty good day at work. I was working at Takanini today again. And yeah, I like it. Everyone is nice there. Uh, I think the only part that I'm having trouble with is getting used to the way that they do things because they do things differently to the clinic that I'm at, at normally. So I don't have much stuff in here, to be honest. Mainly all my hair stuff that's in here. And I went through it and I was like, there's really not much I can throw away, but, but yeah. Let's get to it. Brand new whip, just hopped it. I got options. I can pass that beat like stocking. Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday logging. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top end. I can put Well, I just took off all my pillows and stuff. So I'm picking. Throw the mattress off. And then I know it's not slats, but it's wood. Like underneath that's holding up the mattress. And then take it apart from there. Yeah, fun fact, this is the first thing that I've ever built in my life. <laughs> and it actually turned out good. See, that's what happens when I want to be a f independent woman. When I take my mattress off, I'll try and flip it this way so that it's leaning against my jaw. Oh my god, this is so f heavy. I can do it. Okay. Hi guys, it's 10 o'clock, sitting on my mattress, on the floor, eating a bowl of ice cream, and I don't know where I'm going to live next week. I just finished packing another box, so I had all of my stuff like on top of my jaw. And when I was packing it, Loki was giving dramatic. It was giving, I'm leaving my husband that was cheating on me. I'm packing my things. I'm about to skirt in the middle of the night. That's what it was giving. Oh my gosh, cleaning out my stuff. I was like, what the hell is this? Tell me why it's my birth certificate and my passport that I thought that I lost. It's been sitting here this whole time. Not that I'm going anywhere, but like, at least I don't have to buy a passport when I do. I kept my headboard up just so that it can give the vibes that I'm on a bed. Yeah, kept the headboard there. She's doing her job. I don't even think I said this. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Monday. I'm about to do some editing and then I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye!
I went to the gym and then I picked up my friend and we went to go walk up Mangry Mountain and then we went to go eat so anyways now I'm I've showered I've gotten changed this isn't really what I want to wear but we have another house viewing at one o'clock I want to look presentable every time I go so that's why you will always see me in this blazer when I go to house viewings are you ever like absent when you're driving like you're paying attention to the road and you're there physically you're here but your mind is somewhere else well yeah that was me I was just driving this is my face like literally just like this and I was driving behind this car and I think they were poking fingers at me and then I saw their hand and then their hand went back inside the window and I was like were they poking fingers at me because I wasn't even riding your ass even though I already went out to eat I'm getting hungry again but yeah no real plans for today it's a day off so I'll check in later I want to fight Siri this morning I want to fight Siri this morning because why did she bring me this way oh this might be the last time I work in this clinic <laughs> I don't like this road. It makes me feel nervous. On the way to work, I start at 9 o'clock today. Oh, did you guys just see my spit come out of my mouth? My shifts got swapped around this morning, so instead of working out west, I'm working out south today. I don't know how much of a vlog this will be. I don't really vlog at work, but I see... The oh my god, look at this road! It's giving... country. It's giving, I'm scared. You go bow for the result, nothing to discuss, cause I did my life fault, I'm without any doubt. I'm a me, I be a doubt. Hi guys, happy Saturday. Um, yeah, this is what I look like on a daily basis. Anyways, I got another package. I talked about this in my other vlog as well. I got gifted this one. Bro, I really want to get those box cutter things from Timu. But I just know that I'm not going to be only buying one thing from Timu. I'm going to be making it a big order with things that I don't need. Okay. Oh, that's cute. This is her. Swish. The brand is called Swish. And I have been sent... Oops. What happened to the lighting? I've been sent their collagen, collagen powder. I feel like, guys, I feel like a vampire. I feel like I've just come, well, literally, I have just left the house or I'm about to leave the house. It's so bright out here. <laughs> I'm like, it's so bright out here. Like, I didn't even want to go, but I'm going to get food and I need to take care of these eyebrows. I hope. This is the wrong time to go though because I should have gone I should have gone early this morning but I just couldn't be f bothered like these are the eyebrows they don't look I don't know I don't think they look too bad um she got them clean. That's the main point. I was like, I don't, it's so good, girl. As long as it's clean, I'm fine. I feel like this one's a little bit thinner, but it'll grow back. My, my hair will grow back annoyingly quick. Hi, vlog. 
dog. I've just gotten back home. I think it's like, I think it's like almost two o'clock. I'm deciding if I want to get something to eat before I go to sleep. But like Loki, I don't even think that I'm going to stay awake long enough for the food to even like get here. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't know, like I'm tired. And I wanted to get up early in the morning, but I think I'm just going to put on some Netflix and then go to bed. this camera going on just just so that I can shoot some content in the meantime I am so tired but we gotta get this done I wanna at least have this done um so I just got like clothes in here and there there and I'm pretty sure there's another bag of clothes somewhere else Trying to meet your maker, darling Oh, you running out of time, huh? Girl, she ain't like this in here It's actually my clean laundry I love this closet, actually My pajamas I'm actually having so much fun I am well and truly in my element the Drawers in here bras and undies in here but I don't know how it'll look I feel like it's gonna look messy if I just leave it out like I don't know I guess I'll have to fold my undies all the time look how cute right that's all for this one I've got another bag of clothes to go through my vision was down here is like everyday clothes but then over here is like my jackets my jackets my coats my dressing gown my long stuff so that it doesn't end up touching the floor you know what I mean so not what I mean oh, more pajamas as you can see I really do love my pajamas I've got this blue satin set a purple satin set oh but that one touches the floor I want this in the pajama side, but then it's also long, so it can be on this side. Yeah, put it on that side. It'll give me anxiety if it's touching the floor. Some of these, I did just pack them. I just threw them in the rubbish bag. Have you guys seen that hack? I just threw it in a rubbish bag like this, so that's how it came out. This is a dressing room. And it's touching the floor. I vlog. things where I thought I would have them I don't know if I'm gonna keep this here though because my sister's got this rotating skincare thing from Kmart which I really like and I think it would be nice here 
And I just chucked a whole bunch of shit in the straw. And then I've got my, I've got some hair products in here. And then my hair tools, straightener, hair dryer, brush, and this is my curlers. Or rollers, sorry. And then this is my big ass makeup bag that you would have seen in the last vlog. And I've got some hair stuff down here. Then I've got some clothes, I've got some jeans hanging up, and my pajamas, just, and I don't, and none of them touch the floor, which I'm happy about. And then up here I put dresses, because I don't really wear dresses, and like, I don't really reach for those. And then these are like my singlets, and t-shirts, and long sleeves, and these are my gym shorts, and then leggings, and just normal shorts pants skirts and just random shit down here and then here i've got my some towels and i've got my bras in this and then like my undies in this i'm gonna go to the toilet and i'm gonna shower and i'm probably gonna record a video because in my last vlog you would have seen that Udi reached out to me and so i want to have my video for them up it's not too full to in, until like two weeks time but I want to have it done and posted for them as well as there's another campaign that I've got to record tomorrow um it's swish so these are the eye drops on oh no, eye patches eye patches and I've got collagen collagen powder from them as well so that I've got to record that as well and yeah Hi, so as you would have seen, we had recently moved. This is me in my old bedroom versus my new one. And look at how messy. We just dumped everything in there. A before and a after. This is from Saturday and oh my goodness, I am so happy to be a girl because my brothers were moving the tables, the beds, the fridge, the drawers. Couldn't be me, bro. Could not be me. Last two brain cells in my head are just singing that song and it's like girls like me don't cry then and just over and over again today was so tiring but i'm glad i'm glad that i can finally enjoy my room i can finally enjoy it you know why because i have showered and i'm in comfortable clothes Good morning everybody, it's the next day. I slept in my hoodie last night, which kept me so freaking warm. I've got some cleaning around the house to do. And this is, this is actually gonna be the outfit of the day. <coughs> I am a little bit sick. So this came at the perfect time. If you don't have one already for this winter, please go and get you one. Thank you so much Odie for sending this to me. Vlog. It is 12.03. I woke up at 7 and then I was awake for a couple of hours and then I went back to sleep and so here we are again. I'm honestly so tired. I wanted to clean the kitchen. <sighs> yeah. Wanted to um, and I didn't even do it yet. So that I could get through to you somehow. So now they're like without their candle lit, it still doesn't go back to that musty smell. Yeah. These are really full sources though. Look, oh, don't put it in there. Because it's... Yeah. 
Um, wait, wait, does it fit on the bottom one? Yeah, on the bottom one, because it's too tall. But the bottom one is like, it's not an eyes view. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I don't like. So I mean, this one. Well, we've got other sources like. Because you don't want to go down, no. No. Oh, like that one. Uh, what's it. that place for? Because I wanted to put the jug in there. Oh, yeah? The kettle and the toaster because you can um, put this down. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's out of the way. And sauces that we use would probably fit here. Mm -hmm. Like oh. soy sauce. And then put the rest in the pantry. I guess so. Oh, I need one of those turntables. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those are good. I just wiped out these cupboards. Um, this is all the food we have right now. <laughs> Chia seeds, pasta, and chicken sauce. Yum. And then this area is where I want to put the toaster and the kettle. And then coffees and stuff will be up here. Coffee, tea, Milo, whatever. Because I want to close it. You know? I gotta wipe this because the last people that were here, they don't know how to clean properly. Or if it's the real estate people. I don't know who. But these people don't know how to clean. Oh, and we've got more like pantry space in here. So here is where I want to put all of our protein powders. Protein powders and my greens. And like all of that stuff here. And probably like protein um, shaker bottles here. And then we've got some sweet stuff. Baking stuff. And then this rack here. And then we're probably going to put like spices up here. And chips. And yeah. So far this is all we have. It's finally time for a shower. Got to get the bottoms right. Yes, it's just not a season. Baby, oh baby, oh. Summer turn in the fall. Camera's about to die. I need to go for a shower. I, I like it. I want to go to Kmart and get some stuff. I haven't even... Have I eaten today? Yeah. Okay, I just had chicken and coleslaw, but like I, I haven't had a proper meal. And then this morning I had bakery. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to shower and I'll see you guys later. Sorry about the lighting and the quality. I'm vlogging from my phone, but it's 6 o'clock and we just got to Kmart. So, hmm... I've got a list of things. I mainly want a kettle and a toaster. Toaster is a bit maybe, but kettle, pots and pans, and some stuff to cook with because we've literally got nothing to cook with at home. So let's go. I know that I'm after black appliances. This kind of shit excites me so much. There's a scoop. On the bottom of the lid so cute countdown this countdown shelves are a little bit empty i'm just like do you guys need workers do you need a hand i just came from pack and save and i'm literally at countdown because i forgot to get some dog food i didn't know that he ran out i do not feel good buying this just because it's supermarket food doesn't mean that it's good hi blog I just got back from Kmart, Pack and Save, and Countdown. I'm about, I want to show you guys what I got. So I got a tablecloth that I've just already put on the table. I'm not going to wash that. And then I've just washed these, um, the cutlery. So it was a 16-piece stainless steel cutlery set. And then I got some wooden utensils to cook with. I got a kettle for like my little tea coffee station area I got a toaster it's the same it's like the matching set to it and I got a dish rack as well and then I was going like with black vibes you know 
So this is for the tea, coffee, and sugar. And then this is for the sachets of coffee that we drink, that, that I normally drink, for example. I also got, so this is the dish rack. My sister just put it together. And then I got the one pot and one pan. I don't want... I don't want to get a set because it was so, it was just too expensive and we can just work with this for now. Um, and then I did some grocery shopping as well. So do you remember before in this vlog, I showed you guys the cupboard and it was literally empty. We have stocked up on some more groceries. Not a lot, but it's a start. This is like the food that we would mainly reach for that I was wanting to put in here so, um, and I was mainly just getting stuff so that we could have uh, breakfast tomorrow and like dinner for a couple of nights but like we don't have any bowls right now plus the cups and plus the plates I was going to get a set but like I wasn't sure I was going to get a set, but I wasn't sure if I should get it. Looking back now, like, yeah, I probably should have, but I, I did also spend a lot of money today. I think I'm just going to set up my little, my little tea coffee station area. You guys, this is the toaster, the kettle, and then, like, everything is just matchy-matchy, you know? But I want everything in there because it closes. And I got some tea towels. I like this color. Neutrals. I'm just gonna start setting up my coffee area. Cute. Oh, and I also got these labels from Kmart. Um, okay, so that was a fail. I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm just gonna put everything in here. That was a fail because I wanted to make a TikTok like showing the process on my phone. But this light shows up that it's flickering on my phone and I don't like that so yeah I'll just wait until the morning it's so quiet in this house it's so quiet and also Hustle has been sleeping on my bed and he's making my duvet cover oh that's not a cover my duvet and it's so dirty I'll stay up for a little bit and do some YouTube editing. Um, I will see you guys in the morning. Wrong tea. It's yeah. This yeah. is loose leaf tea. So I'm not gonna use it. But I still just put a label on the tea. I knew I should have just got the one that I. Ugh, that's annoying. I should have just got the English breakfast. That's the one that I like. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy and blood in my pen. Better yet with your friends and them. I really want to know you all. I really want to show you off. Fuck God, pour up plenty of champagne. Hi vlog. I don't know where I left off with this, but... Let me show you this side. This side is actually okay. I don't really have to clean much. I think because I did this properly when I first unpacked. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Um, but this is what this looks like. And this, I just threw everything in there. Um, and my hair stuff. And then this bag actually has my duvet cover in it. And... Mm, I don't know what I'm doing with this. 
this was supposed to be like my tripod my tripods my chargers my like all of that sort of stuff but i don't know i'm thinking maybe i should just put it down here because that way if it's down there then it's like out of the way you can't see it because i feel like now that it's up there it just looks messy and then i've got to pack away my shoes because i still haven't done that and then i've i got some laundry so yeah let's just i think we should start with my bed and i need to put my like my bag somewhere i don't know where i'm gonna hang my bags maybe i should put them in the cubby though instead of having it on the floor like this is the bag that i take to work and then i've got a bag for my gym stuff hmm or look how dusty that is oh my gosh unless i wipe this down because i'm not going to be using it up there and then i put it here and so my bags can hang there i think i think that's a good plan guys okay my bed is done ah so cute i am so happy that my bed is in the middle of the room because it just makes it makes my life easier having to make my bed when it's squashed up against the wall mm, that shit is difficult okay so this thingy it's dusty as fuck. So I'm gonna grab this. Oh, does it twist out? Okay, grab this, give it a wipe, hang my bags from it. Where's my other bag? Gym bag as well. Okay, okay. Oh, you can't see. Look at it. That's her there. That's all her. Oh, what's all of these? Oh, this is my Nana's cardigan. I will never throw this away. Cute, cute. Okay, now I don't know about my shoes because, like, they could probably fit in those cubbies. But I kind of feel like it's ridiculous to have your shoes up so high. It would suit better being down here. I was going to put them on the floor, but I kind of don't want to. So I don't know if I should put them down here. The only thing that would make this better is if these could completely like slide across. But it doesn't because it covers that. I don't know. I feel like it'll look better down. I mean, it'll make more sense if it's closer to the ground instead of being up there. But then, the thing is, I don't want to start putting clothes, anyways, I don't want to start putting clothes up there because I just, OCD says that it looks a little better on one side. And then I also have the option of putting them down there, in that little area, but I feel like that area is too small. And I've got my hair stuff, that's hair stuff in that drawer. I mean, in that um, little cubby thing. And then I've got my black makeup case over there because my makeup will not fit up there. I've decided it will look better down here. Heels that I don't even wear. Some more heels that give me sore feet. I should probably throw these away. My keychain? What? Look, you're not even looking. This is my keychain. What? Not what? Pardon. No. No woo. This is my keychain from my friend. Yeah, my keychain. No, from my friend. Yeah, your friend. Because she went to Japan. And she got me a keychain. No. Yes, she did. No, my bag. And what else am I putting on? Am I putting my hop card on? Should I? This is okay, I'm going to call my dad. Okay, I'm going to call yeah, my okay, dad. Yeah, okay, you go tell your dad then. Okay. Yeah, you go tell. Okay, go call my dad. Yeah, go tell your dad. Then 
Uh, it is five o'clock. I've got the potatoes boiling. This is what it's like to live with a kid. Make my bed all nice. <gasps> okay, maybe I'm the kid because I just, I just picked up the chips and it all fell. Anyways, I've got the potatoes boiling. We're gonna have potato bake without the bake because the oven don't work. The oven don't work. The oven doesn't work? No. It's just like doesn't turn on at all. So we've got the potatoes boiling here and here. Oh my god, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, what I do like about this kitchen is we're gonna chopping board here. I think it's so and we're gonna chopping board here. I just rewatched a lot of my footage back. And tell me why it's in slow-mo, like oh. I hate that shit. Daddy. Now I can't use majority of my footage. Oh my god! I mean it's gonna make editing easier, but mm. yeah, you care. And in this one, I'm going to add mushrooms. I don't think I'm going to put garlic in because there would, there's going to be enough flavor in these two packs alone. But it'll be fine. Okay, now let's pour it. Let's pour it. God damn. Yeah, there were these black mesh baskets um, there that would go really good with like putting the potatoes in. Yeah, like potatoes and onions. It would look really nice if it was in. But I didn't but I didn't get it. One of the onions and another, right? Yeah. Yeah. If it's so cozy at night time with your cooking. Yeah. I think you guys spend a lot of time in the kitchen dining area. Yeah, that's because we don't have a lounge set right now. Yeah, that's because there's no couch. Yeah. I I bought that thing that makes the toilet water blue. Yeah. Yeah, I just bought two. But there's four toilets. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing that goes in the bowl that makes it smell nice. Yeah, I just bought two. my daughter because we don't have wi-fi yet hi guys i have showered and i just finished posting another video i really do like this house i do i like the kitchen i like the bathroom I'm just going to edit some videos and probably fall asleep so i'll see you guys in the morning bye wow my hair looks ridiculous morena more than ever, everybody. Alrighty. It's... I've got rosemary oil in this bottle. I... My mum saw the video and... Rosemary oil... Blah, blah, blah. Rosemary... Rosemary oil. It's supposed to like help with your hair. It's... It's Tuesday. It's... Um, it's almost seven o'clock. Just gonna get ready and I'm gonna take hustle for a walk. Let's get ready. I actually had a really good sleep. And literally like I fell asleep, like I was knocked out. I don't know if it's because I was tired or because of my hot chocolate. Because I was knocked out, like I fell asleep with those eye patches on and my light was still on. God damn. And then I woke up like around 10 to turn everything off. <laughs> and the eye patches were all shriveled up. But yeah, I woke up and then I finished editing and then I just um and then I just emailed the content to the person. Rise and shine. If you're not a morning person, I don't know what to tell you, like 
we would probably not be good living together if we had a morning pressure. Sweatpants, a long sleeve, and a jacket. Mm -hmm. A jacket was a jacket. Other vibes to do. Where did I put it? Because when we went yesterday, it was hella cold. I haven't been back to the gym in a while. So, even just getting up and going for a walk. We'll go for a walk. Is helping me get back there, you know? I'm gonna shower and like do my skin and stuff when I come back. Somebody's happy. Are you happy? Look at the tail wag. Are you happy, Asso? Just gonna. Yesterday we kind of went for a long walk. Um, I don't want to do that today. Can you see? Oh. I was like, what's in the background? That's my tripod. Yeah, I don't really want to do that today because he's getting older and he's probably got some sort of arthritis. Um, but when I was at work, we didn't have the supplements that I wanted to get for him. So he's probably a little bit sore as well this morning. And plus it's like cold as fuck. I mean, last night it wasn't actually that cold because the past couple of nights I've just been sleeping with my heater. But I had the heater on, and then when it got too hot, I turned it off. Right? I turned it off. Oh, yeah. Turned it off. And then it just stayed warm for the rest of the night. Okay. It's a little bit bright out, so let's go. We are set the handy for the day, baby. Bad man, we must stay, baby. Oops, I done fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but killing love for the first time, the first time I've seen you love, you got me, baby. Even though, girl, I know that I will fall for you, you got to know that everyone falls. Oops, I done fell so deep, baby. Oops, I won't. vlog it's like seven o'clock i just woke up i just came home and i showered and i went to sleep because oh my gosh i didn't even get my car done today i was going to get a reverse camera installed yeah that didn't even happen because i didn't pick up the phone the phone call yesterday to make the actual appointment because from my understanding, it was already booked. It obviously wasn't. So when I saw an unknown caller, I didn't pick up. Because I was thinking, who is calling me? Who needs to call me? Nobody. And so then I didn't pick up. I called again this morning. And I, I picked up that phone call. And it was him letting me know that, hey, I'm actually fully booked. I tried to call you yesterday. But you didn't pick up so give you a call i can give you a call if i've got any cancellations or we would have to reschedule for another day like tomorrow but i can't do tomorrow because i'm working so then i was like okay let me know if you've got any cancellations otherwise my next availability would be next tuesday biggest miscommunication on my part because i didn't pick up the phone call why because i'm like i don't like i don't even like phone calls to begin with and then to have to pick up and not know who's on the other end. Oh my gosh. Panic. Absolute panic. I was annoyed as well because he's the guy that changed my stereo the last time. He installed a completely new one because um, my the one that was already in the car didn't have Bluetooth. And I wasn't sure if he was the same guy that was doing my reverse camera. And he obviously was. And so I was just like, okay, that was a miscommunication on your part because you should have done my reverse camera and my stereo at the same time in June. In June, brother. But I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure if he was the camera guy. I thought that he was just the stereo guy. Anyways, so that plan went to shit. 
but I still went to my mom's to do my washing. And then you wouldn't believe it. I finished all the washing, I was like, okay. And then I did my meal prep. I was cooking my chicken. I was cooking my chicken, veggies and rice in between the time that I was doing um, my washing because that was the whole reason why I was going to my mom's house. And you wouldn't believe it, you wouldn't believe it. I loaded up the car, washing is all done. It's 2.30, I'm like, okay, I need to hurry up and leave Mangri because I don't want to get stuck in traffic. Let me scoot, scoot. Okay, let me hurry up. There was some of my dad's stuff at home too, so I had to pack all of that stuff too. Got everything, I was like, okay, did I forget anything? No, 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 should be fine. I pull up to the laundromat closer to home, pull up to the laundromat, I'm like, okay, they take FPOS, great, let me go back to the car, get my laundry out of the car. I open up the boots, there's nothing there. I open up the back seat, there's nothing there. Oh my gosh, I left it. Is that in Mangare? At my mum's house. It didn't make it with me. I was like, oh my goodness. And at that point I was like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to call it a day. So yeah, traffic was not bad. There was no traffic, but I didn't even end up doing my laundry. So I'm gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might stop there tomorrow in the morning if I've got time, because I don't start work until like 10 o'clock. And so I'm making overnight, Overnight wheat bags. I've got my protein. Oh, and let's go off. Mm, I've only got chocolate protein. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna taste nice. Some. Because usually I use vanilla protein with this. But, um, oh well. It is what it is. And I'm not gonna measure anything either because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered looking up the recipe. Even though I've made this before, I don't remember. Bro, I don't want to go work tomorrow. But I think also because I was sick last week and I was still going to work because I was I was sick to a point where where I could still do things. And I think that's what actually was just burning me out. I wasn't 100% and I was still going to work. And then to have to move on top of that is crazy i think i should have put milk at the bottom because look it's so dry and crusty down here i don't know how i feel about that that kind of says yuck because this isn't even the yogurt that i get as well this one is just like greek greek natural greek yogurt the one that i usually get is flavored i think vanilla is the one that I usually get. So I'm um, basically, don't follow this recipe at all. If you wanna go and make this, um, go and find it on my TikTok account, because I've, and, and Instagram as well. Because of what I'm making right now, is not what I usually have. This is what I was talking about in the morning, um, when I was like, I don't know if it was this that put me straight to sleep, or what it was, if I was actually just, like really tired but we're gonna have to do it again because i was having a nice sleep and then i'm just gonna add this and as well what someone commented on my videos and said wait did you move out of home technically yes i moved out of a house that i was living at but i'm still living with my family like i didn't move out on my own Hey guys, so it's Thursday night. It's like nine o'clock. I got home an hour ago. And honestly, like working, working sucks. I'm just putting away my washing now because I need to pack my bag because I want to try and go to work. Oh, I don't want to go to work. I want to go, I want to try and go for a walk in the morning and go to the gym and then I got to go to work and then from there I'm not going to come home. I'm going to go to my mum's so that I can get ready because I'm going out for dinner, 
I think we have, I don't know if it's dinner or if it's drinks for my friend's farewell. And I can't wait. I'm actually very excited to see my friends because I haven't seen them in so long. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Shit, hold on. I tell you guys right now, like, I am so sick of working. I finished at 7 o'clock today. And the drive home, yeah. I was about to fall asleep driving home. Like, how freaking dangerous is that? And then I get home, and it's already freaking 8 o'clock. And then there was chicken in the fridge that I had to cook before it went off. So I made chicken fried rice. So that took me about mm, 40, 30 or 40 minutes to cook that. And I'm just like, bruh. Now it's 9.30 and I gotta go to sleep. And then when I wake up, then I gotta go to work again. <laughs> I was making enough money consistently to do social media full time. I'll quit my job in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I'll be out of there. No, actually not a heartbeat because I gotta go four weeks notice. But after my four weeks notice, it's 9.40. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Like, literally, this is what I sound like. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go for a shower. I look like absolute garbage. We've got my Wendy's here. Oh, shit. A little salt on that. I'm a little bit starving. Oh, damn, this is like hot. This is fresh. When I got up and I put everything into my car, I was thinking like, I should really go and wash my car. Do I have the energy for it? Yeah, yeah, it should be fine, it should be fine. And then I started driving and then I was like, mm, actually, I don't think you should be out here in the public because I almost just had a road rage incident with someone. I know that you gotta merge like a zip. But if a car is already in front of you, do you not just let it slide? I was already in front of him and I was just trying to merge and he wouldn't f***ing let me. Like I'm already in front of you. I feel like the merge rule doesn't apply here. I hope he has a bad day. I hope he's having a shitty day. In that sort of situation, like who would be in the wrong if me and this person were to get into an accident? Who would be in the wrong? Would it be me? Because technically he's next when you merge like a zip? Or would it be him? Because I was already in front of him and he chose to speed up. Why you want to speed up now? Why were you not speeding up five minutes ago? Then you would have been here. But you weren't. You were like this. And then you chose to cut me off like this. So then I had to break and do this. When he drove past in his car and cut me off, I was like, Ugh. I ain't even going to fight it. Like, your car is ugly. Your car is ugly. And if you're not willing to break, that means you don't give a your car and you don't give a about my car and i'm willing to break sir it's giving ugly on the inside and the outside hi vlog it's sunday night i haven't really checked in because i literally got smashed on friday it was one of my friends um farewell she's moving to oz oh god damn i was not supposed to drink as much as i did <laughs> I have no regrets though. I have absolutely no regrets because I was drinking with my my KFC friends. And honestly, like when I'm when I'm around them, it just feels like it feels like I'm back home. And I love being around these people. It is it is always a good time and it definitely was. It was a good time as in as in I only have one video from that night. <laughs> very very proud of myself because i did not lose anything i didn't lose my car keys i didn't lose my fpos card i didn't lose my phone i didn't lose my license i didn't lose my wallet nothing it was all safe and sound when i went home the next day yesterday i just slept i slept the whole day 
and then I woke I got up like around 12 and I came because I slept, stayed at my mum's place and then I came back here at 12 and my niece was here so then just hung around with her oh. not that she wanted to hang around with me but and then yeah then we went we went out to we were supposed to go to um paradise to have dinner but we just ended up going to night markets because paradise was so busy we bought night markets and then we came back home and we ate it was so good like and then after we ate I was like okay that's me I'm done and I went straight to sleep it was, it was a long weekend girl long long weekend but yeah I had a really good weekend I love seeing those people those are like those are like a few of my favorite people but to be honest like right now I feel like I haven't even recovered properly we we're doing shots We're doing shots. I don't even do shots like that. Like that that's not me. That's not me. But again, I'm easily influenced. Today, what did I do? Not my washing. <laughs> this I do need to go do my washing, but I think I'll i I'll do that on like on the Thursday. No, not Thursday. I'll probably do that on Tuesday or something. Today I just stayed home and then I had to leave the house because I went to the place that I'm house sitting next week to like meet um meet the dog so that he doesn't you know attack me when I arrive there next week and just get familiar with the place and the routine and stuff like that and then I went and washed my car and now we're here I think I think I'm gonna make HelloFresh for dinner I also yeah I also got HelloFresh delivered because they like me and they want me to make two more videos for September and I'm like girl okay I probably record those videos. Oh shoot, I can't even do it this week. I'll try and do that tomorrow actually, so that it's out of the way. A couple of vlogs ago, I mentioned that I was trying to put my portfolio together for um, to become a UGC creator, and I'm almost, I'm almost done. I'm pretty sure. I've just got a few more like slides to put through, which I'm quite excited about because I, I actually do like making videos. It's quite fun. That's fun for me. Oh, and I met one of my followers as well. It's so cute. It's such a cute interaction. And it is such a small world. She, um, so one of the girls that I used to work with, that's her sister-in-law. We were just having a really good conversation. She's the mom of three girls. And she was telling me that she watches my content because it channels the life that she used to live before her children. And it's the whole thing of like, if you're not looking after yourself, then how can you look after those around you? It's just like, oh cute, that is so cute. That's so cute to me. And I got, got a chance to catch up with everybody. Everyone is like in their own lane. And it is so cute to see. Everyone is in their own lane doing their own thing. Like moving to another country or starting a different job. Or making their own business. Or moving up in like management roles. And I love that for them. I love that for us. We were at KFC when we were freaking teenagers. <laughs> we were teenagers in an adult position. We were, we moved up really fast. We came, we were team members, turned shift supervisors, turned assistant managers. And it's just like, look at how far we've come now. Look how far we've come now. And that was some fucked up shit working at KFC. I swear to God, that was some fucked up shit. And they are some of the best people that I have ever met for sure, for sure. It's fun. It's so fun. Like when you you can go so long without seeing seeing them, but when you see each other again. It's just like nothing ever changed. Another thing I want to say is I actually recorded a really cute video, which was of me like doing my tea station. It was literally just a toaster, a kettle, and then four canisters. And someone freaking said you should have put the labels on the top. It would have been better if you put the labels on top. And that's the difference between me and you. Because if I wanted to put the labels on the top, I would have done it. But I didn't want to put it there. Which is why I didn't. You know what I'm trying to say? And then the thing that comes with that is you need to know what you like. And you need to know what you don't like. And with those sort of opinions because everybody's gonna have opinions granted it's like not that bad it's not a big deal or whatever but 
if you take on other people's opinions all the time you're just going to be exhausted ones that i replied to i was like i like it the way it is if you want to put your labels on top then you're welcome to but don't project your shit onto me okay just like the video and carry the fuck on because someone else commented and they said it would have looked better with a stone bench top so record a stone bench top in your own fucking house <laughs> like think think for a second think for a second the bench top came with the house. I don't get these sort of comments on YouTube. Everyone who, I feel like everyone who watches my vlogs because it's long form content actually, like actually follow me, follow me for real. If you just watch my TikToks and it's like, mm, mm, that's not a big deal. You don't know me for real. The vlogs, the vlogs are where it's at. Okay. The people on TikTok, not all of them, but majority of them, they wouldn't. They wouldn't even see this message but this is a friendly reminder to let you know you are just consuming what i put out there okay you don't actually live here and i said the shelf on top of where the kettle is i just know that that's going to be filled with mold and i replied and i said good thing it's not your shelf come on be fucking for real why are you worrying about something that's not yours that is so ridiculous to me and another thing that i get annoyed about on tiktok is that they have no problem deleting my videos. They have no problem taking my videos down when they th they claim that it's a community guideline violation. How? How is it a violation? Okay? I was just responding to a comment. They commented first, but I'm the one that gets my video taken down. Why don't you take their comment down? How about that? I'm gonna end this vlog out here and I oh, I saw that there's 1750 of you guys here 1750 subscribers I have no doubt in my mind that we're gonna be at 2000 soon <laughs> we're gonna be at 2000 soon that's so cute I hope you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe just let me know what you want to see from me next stay safe and tell your parents you love them bye